Hi guys, this is Vidas and Usha. And let's start um, part 25 of our Ask Vidas and Usha podcast. Today's question was sent by Ugo Chuku and he wants to know how to improvise with pedals. Well, that's an interesting question, Osha, right? Because yes. do we do we usually improvise with pedals? Does he? Uh, how do you think? Does he thinks that uh, you should improvise on solo pedals or in addition to manuals? I think he means in addition to, to manuals. manuals right? Yes. Oh, I and see. you know, for my part, I if I would have to improvise, you know, and use the pedal, mm-hmm. I would probably just do most of the time pedal point. Mm-hmm. For so, starters. Yes, for starters, like uh, either on the dominant or on the tonic. Or subdominant. Uh, subdominant, yes, but it's less useful. Mm-hmm. Basically, At least two, uh, yes. Two long sustained notes in the pedal. Tonic and dominant. First scale degree of the scale and or fifth. the. Yeah. But because you are an expert in this field, so maybe you could explore a little bit more. So I think, I think you could imagine that it's okay to be very simple at the beginning, right? As Osha says, says um, two notes uh, total, maybe three notes if you need variety. And if you if you think about it. If you know tonic, subdominant, and the dominant chords, you can do a lot. You can even improvise, you can harmonize most of the tunes you find in, in any hymnal, right? So so the same thing applies with pedal improvisation. You could be very, very simple with this. Um, if you want to, to be more advanced, right, you could play a tune in your pedals. That would be like like a nice a nice variety right that's a good suggestion I think. right what would hands be doing at that moment with osha what do you think or probably playing like fast notes fast note motion you could do like toccata you know in your hands mm-hmm. play 16 notes and then no slow slower notes in the pedal with the melody or you can um reverse you could play Faster notes with the pedal, like a, not really fast, but quarter notes, like a tune, a hymn tune, but placed in the feet. And then your hands could be quite slow, then, right? Accompaniment the feature is changing a couple of times per measure. Sure. Right? Maybe one voice in each hand. Uh, if you don't know any tonal harmony, there are some modal techniques you could use, right? You could uh, just check what kind of mode this tune is in and play only in your hands the notes of the mode. No accidentals, no additional sharps or flats, right? Mm, that that means that anything you play with your hands will sound well with the pedals. Sure. Right? Yes, if That's... it's on the white key, so you cannot miss them. So, Osho, do you think that uh, that people should always improvise with pedals or not necessarily? Well, not necessarily, but if we are, you know, good and we have advanced organ technique, then why not? It depends on, you know, on your level. And also you need variety because when you look at any organ composition, you always see some measures, some episodes where pedals are... Uh, not playing, sure. resting. Not only you need to rest your feet, that's one thing, but you also need to think about the 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 lowest voice, the pedal voice, right? The bass. Let's say as the double bass part in the orchestra. Sure. They yes. not always play, right? Sometimes they do double the cello part. Usually they do. But sometimes even the cellos are silent, right? Yes. And the higher um, instruments are playing. And that's because on the organ, on the organ, if you add all, always add 16 foot in the bass, playing yes. one octave lower sound, 
you you feel this sort of uh, gravity, right? This is very yes, nice. That's right. But it might be too much if you do this all the time, yes. right? So you need rest. And never, probably, you no know, helpful idea would be, you know, to improvise like sort of chacona or pasacalia. Then you could have, you know, the same melody over and over again in the pedal and, you know, just add a new stuff in the manual. This would make life easier too. Mm -hmm. What do you think with this about it? Those pasacalias or chaconas are extremely helpful in improvisation because uh, y your theme is set. You don't have to think about sure. four, eight measures are already set in advance. You would just play and repeat it. Well, you could uh, transpose it, right? Uh, to have more variety, right? Let's say f eight variations or four variations in the tonic. Then let's say uh, eight or four variations in uh, in the dominant, let's say, and then com coming back to the tonic. That's yes. fine. Or relative minor or subdominant or any other related key works well. Um, but you see, it's still set. You don't have to improvise really on the feet. What you need to do then, you add figurations with the manuals. Sure. Keeping the same harmonies, probably. But of course, if you are advanced, you know, in pedal technique, you could add probably even like pedal solo. That would be very impressive during your improvisation. Pedal solo, what do you mean? Oh, simple yes, solo yes, solo line yes, where yes, the hands are yes, not playing. Yes, exactly. Uh, example would be F major toccata, right? By Bach. Well, yes. Uh, and C major toccata. C major toccata. Those episodes for virtuoso pedal parts. Mm -hmm, that's that's a nice... Or even like Buxta Hudes, you know, that famous preludium in C major. Where, where, where the, the opening... opening is pedal solo. Mm -hmm. Or Beom C major. Sure. Uh, that was really very often seen feature uh, in North German Baroque music, solo pedal lines, to establish the key and either either to end in the tonic or to, to go to the dominant, to modulate uh, and, and then start in another key with the, hand, with the hands. So that's that's a nice idea, Usha. Thank you. So guys, I hope, uh, we hope that this has been helpful to you. Yes. And please send more of your questions to us. We love helping you grow. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. <laughs>